All right, so we've arrived here at Salvation Mountain, which was basically tens of thousands of gallons of paint, uh, adobe bricks, spare tires, all, all sorts of junk went into making this. And it's a process that actually started in the 1930s. Um, so you can see here, it looks like a big ride at Disneyland or a, a cake you could eat. And we actually came across someone who is very familiar with this and, and lives here in the area. So um, she's gonna do a much better job than me and we're gonna let her talk. I moved here when I was in fifth grade, so that was a couple of years ago. But uh, we used to see the guy, and I don't even remember his name, collecting paint, and then people just started giving him the paint, you know, because he'd have like a little bit left all the time. And he started building this, and it was just a little thing. It just kept getting bigger and bigger. And he was a true believer, and it's kind of sad that it became kind of a drug and hippie site out here. Mm -hmm. But he was, a, he was different, but he was a cool guy. Do you feel it's maintained right here, what you see with God is love? And... Yeah, it's, it's, it's bigger now than when he was alive, but um, it, yeah, it, it's, it's kept the same, the same path, the same um, lessons. Uh-huh. And w were you able to see this back in the day when there was nothing here? Oh, yeah. I mean, first there was, somebody was saying something about that crazy old guy out there with paint, and so, um, we had to come out and see it one time. Mom brought me and my brothers and sisters out, and, and, he, and he was in the process then. You could see the hay bales and stuff like that. Then he was, because there's all straw and stuff that the farmers would give him, and he'd drag it out here. And mm -hmm. Just, it's amazing what it became because of what it looked like when it started. And how often do you come out here to, to see it? Well, I haven't been out here in 30. Uh, no, not, about maybe. 10, 10 years probably I came out and saw it when it was still the original thing. This is the first time I've seen it since it's been. Okay. So I came out not too long after he died. Can you give us a little flavor of what it looked like 10 years ago? Not as big. Not as and big. It was, it was starting to kind of deteriorate. And then somebody started coming out here, some people, and started taking care of it and, and fixing it up. So it's good to see, as crazy as it is, and that people all over the world come to see this thing. <laughs> and actually, we're vendors at a street fair up in Palm Springs every Thursday night, and we've actually had some Japanese customers come to our booth and say something about it, and then we say, oh, yeah, and I can tell them about it. And what do you sell there? Uh, Native American artifacts. What kind? I make arrows and feather earrings and right. dream catchers. And well, wonderful. Thank you so much for giving us a little uh, yeah, story. Yeah. Appreciate it. And your name again was? Vicky. Vicky. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Those actually Hermes and we're not up after the we're not named after the damn handbags.